Hi everyone, I want to do a video today and this is just me talking and really giving my insight for what it's worth. And I hope it's worth something considering the fact that I have close to 20 years in IT and specifically speaking in cybersecurity, I have about 15. So I'm just going to get straight to it. Okay, so let's get straight to the bottom line. There is a lot of people that are not getting anywhere when they send resumes out for these jobs in cybersecurity. And I just want to shed some light on why I think this is the case. First off, there is less jobs than there was previously. So if you check back and you look at the statistics, we can go back to 2022, you will see a significant amount more of cybersecurity jobs than there is today. And this is one important factor. And then number two, what is going on? And I have heard this from numerous hiring managers. I have a lot of friends in the industry that hire people. And they do this for the they do this for executive positions, they do this for mid roles, junior roles, senior roles, whatever it is. And these people are telling me that they are increasing the vetting process due to the fact that we have a lot more pool, candidate pool. So they're finding ways to weed these people out where in 2023 and even into 2024, I wasn't hearing about anything like this. So the bottom line is this, you're going to get security assessments, you're going to get projects, and you're going to get hands on pen tests. That's right. I was recently speaking with a colleague and he said that their company now is requiring an actual pen test. They said, well, pen tests are going to take, uh, you know, five to seven days on the short side, but typically like a week or two. He said, well, it's going to take 45 minutes. I said, 45 minutes. I said, that's not a pen test. Well, what they want is someone to fish around for vulnerabilities and showcase what they are finding in a vulnerability kind of assessment scenario. I mean, they're calling it a pen test. I'm not. So that is one indication of what we're seeing more. We're seeing a lot less jobs. We're seeing a lot more rigorous interviews. These are not the interviews where they're getting your resume, going over it, you're answering questions, and then you're getting to the next level and you're talking. No, these are technical interviews, code snippets that are coming to you in the interview. For example, how would you um, explain the vulnerability in this code snippet? And if so, how would you mitigate it? These are live. These are in a panel of like three or four other people. So I want to let everybody out there know that in the last five years, you have been uh, told the cybersecurity jobs are everywhere and you're going to make so much money. And I am not denying that there's not money in cybersecurity. I just want you to be really aware of what is in store when you're looking for that role. And for example, it's not enough to have US specialty, security specialty like I have, or your Azure 500. There's going to be more to it. It could be some kind of a lab that they want you to complete prior. And I've seen this at the higher paying roles and even the senior level. That's right. You could have worked in a role and you may have been an application security engineer very specifically at a particular company, and they still want you to do the assessment. Go figure that. I think it's a little appalling to some degree when they see someone who has done a considerable amount of application security testing, and now they are requiring that. And look, it may make you feel like you, no matter what you do, you know, they're not going to believe you. And to some degree, there has to be some trust on the level from the employer. So, I mean, I completely understand where you're coming from, if that's what you believe. So how do we fix this issue? Well, we just have to increase our skill set. We have to make sure that we are up to par with the skills. Work on labs, 
all right, you want to do this on your own time. Get yourself an account, let's say with GitHub, post some of the things that you're doing, get a portfolio. And I know you've heard this, but sometimes I go on the web and I'm hearing a teenager talk about what they would like to tell you about how to get hired in cybersecurity. I'm like, all right. I'm not saying that they're not informing you with good information, but I'd like to hear from someone who has experience, who's been in the trenches, and who has lived this on a daily basis for many years to let you know what the heck is going on. So I hope that this video can give you a little bit insight into what is going on in the job market in cybersecurity and how to help yourself to get the foot in the door, so to speak, or at least be prepared for some of these situations that are going to require security assessments. Now, is it only application security? Uh, no, you're going to be getting assessments in other things that I have seen. For example, if the job requires Kubernetes, there's going to be tests from some companies that are going to be asking you about Kubernetes. And uh, if it requires Python coding, experience, there is going to be assessments in that. And it doesn't mean it's going to be an interview-like assessment, but it could be something that is one of these companies that provides the assessments for the recruiters. And I've seen that a lot as well. So unfortunately, you can't get around the proper training. So check out some of the other videos. I'm going to be posting more training-like videos on Learn to Hack and Code. And I hope this has helped to educate you on the process because it's not as simple as it once was. I do recall the time where I was seeing these very unskilled people getting paid very well, and those times are over. Everybody have a good one. If you grab something from this informal video, then please like and subscribe. Bye now.